Look at that, look at that, look at that. I'm an engineer at bouncing booties. All right, y'all, you know me, I couldn't quit. I figured I'll run the EXB and see what's up. It's all the same. I am running a 6,000 mAh Z. I've never ran a LiPo that big in this car, so hopefully it holds together. We're gonna find out. That's kind of freaking comical. <laughs> oh, this is how this session's gonna go down. How about we go stand on the other jump this time? I don't know, man. I like standing on the other one. Shit, I don't even know how to get up here anymore. I can't even get up. Dang. Ah, call me a Sheila. Damn, wind is kicking. What am I talking about, baby? Come on! Almost flipped off the damn hill! Whoa! Yeah, I think it's almost time just to call it quits today. Whew. Yeah, something flew off of her. Oh, 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 oh. It's alright, it's what I'm talking about. Come on now. That was my fault. <laughs> a little too much pep in his step when it wasn't ready for it. Damn wings, man. What the hell? Aldo got to Velcro that shit down. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Or put a damn big old bungee cord around it like some people do. <laughs> You'll never see that here. If the body ain't gonna stay on, then I just won't run it. No redneck ingenuity, only king salami ingenuity at its finest. I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer at bouncing booties. I'm an engineer at bouncing booties. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Uh. Wife number one heard me talking about a bouncy booty and she's like, what are you talking about? You talking about my butt? I'm like, no, but it does bounce nice. God. I needed this after today. This car always makes me happy. Always. I mean, I, I don't think it's ever let me down. I, I should, should have never said that. No, I'm not crazy. Just having fun, y'all. Like to have fun, right? If you don't have fun in life, what what's it worth? All right, y'all. I want to talk about something that. A little more on a serious note. And it'll probably affect a lot of you guys out there. Maybe not. But I know in my world and what I see it affects a lot of people. The opioid epidemic. And I, I'm not joking around. I'm being dead serious. I had some real close friends of mine OD. When I was younger, and not too long ago, either was one of them. And he got lucky. They caught him in time, but the first one didn't. He passed away, and nobody even found him for three days. If y'all know anybody that's strung out. Do everything possible to help them. I mean, yeah, they might piss you off and you might not want to be around them, but 
that guy or girl, they don't have nothing. And sometimes it takes somebody else to make them do it. Yeah, nobody's gonna stop if they don't wanna stop, but. But at least you can be there and show them that you're willing to support them. And if, if they just stop for a day, that's a day alive that they're gonna have. Cause nowadays, that shit ain't no joke, man. They're putting shit in that stuff nowadays, man. They kill you instantly. You're dead. And that's what happened to one of my boys, you know. He shot heroin. And he was so used to buying a certain amount of heroin and shooting the whole dose. And he got the same shit one time. Shot the same dose. And it wiped him the f*** out. Instantly. So, I mean, if y'all like hearing about this kind of shit or you want to talk about it again hit me up in the comments and let me know because i have some stories believe me i might be an older guy but i've been around the block let's see what's going on yeah sorry to bring y'all down but i've been wanting to talk about it and that shit really bothers me that that's going on with these kids nowadays and, and older people god just shut off it happened again i think my wires are smacking the esc switch because it ain't hot i don't think i didn't even check it Anyway, y'all, donuts for rehab? <laughs> How about we do something? And tell me in the comments if you're interested. Let's do a jump for rehab. Just go out to your favorite bash spot and just hit as many jumps back to back as you can for somebody that's in need. And it don't have to be drug, man. They could be alcoholics. They could be just crazy people that need help. Jumps for rehab, man. I'll do it. I'll go pack to pack until something breaks. I'll probably get one jump. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. This is an awesome community. And I think if we all got together, we could do some good. I really do. Some of y'all might be like, I didn't come here to hear this shit, but you know what? It's freaking life, yo. Or just tell me you don't want to hear about it and I'll shut up. I just felt like I needed to talk about it. I'll be done. God, this girl's on fire today, man. Fire! Pull, trigger, pull. <laughs> yeah, I love it when they sound like that. I usually let off the gas when I'm in the air, but when a full send like that, I stay in it because it don't have no to pull itself out of whatever is fixing to happen. Whoa, we're redoing that one. <laughs> hey, little crazy girl. Crazy, crazy girl with the bouncy booty. Yeah, that was a bad landing. Yeah, and let me know in the comments too if you do have somebody, man, that is struggling. Or if you're struggling, let me know, man. Maybe I'm not no preacher and I ain't that guy to tell you not to do something, but if I can help somebody, man, I'm willing to help them. And if <laughs> love it, watch this, watch this. Here we go. I didn't even put man, I hit the jump wide open and let off, and it did its own back foot. Me and that body just laughing, bro. I'm on full trigger pull, full trigger pull. God, I was out there. Y'all gotta give me an A for effort because I'm giving her hell. <laughs> Shit. 
she a little hot. She didn't shut off that time. Maybe those wires are hot. Oh man, look at all that. Ay, ay, son of a bitch, that's hot. Oh man, I melted the motor out of the back of that son of a bitch. I might be putting a new motor in here, y'all. I better take this thing off. I just heard some clicking in there. I think I, I think I ate a motor up. My knife's not very sharp. If you're wondering, I was just holding that blade. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. I'm gonna put you on pause, get up to the house, I'll show you what's up. All right, y'all, made it back up to the house. I already had it all opened up. Nothing's broke, car's still in one piece, except that. We melted the shit out of that motor. Look at that, 280, y'all see that? Let me see. Two ninety five. There was a three hundred on there a second ago. Yeah, three oh two. You don't think I got that motor hot, do you? I was having some fun, baby, fun. The lipo didn't blow up. That's a good thing. Anyway, the EXB is rocking it like always. Chassis still straight. Everything's still good on here. Um, I've been wanting to upgrade this motor anyway. That's a twenty two hundred kV. This time of year ain't gonna cut it. I'm either gonna put a Leopard in there, a forty two eighty two. I think it is. I don't. Know. I, I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna probably put that in there or a forty ninety. You know, I ain't going that big sitting here rambling i don't know what i'm gonna put in there yet but it's gonna be bigger maybe an 800 kv i ain't talked about her lately probably feeling lonely so i might just slap her in here with that new pps motor mount i got all right y'all i'm almost done hope you all enjoyed my stuff again sorry for rambling on about what i talked about tonight today on this bash session if you want to hear more about that let me know if you don't want to hear any more please let me know either way i want to hear from you thanks for watching please like subscribe share and we'll talk at y'all in the next one peace